Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Immortal Flame Katy Perry. So she is a free unit that everyone can get. And I'm really surprised because yes, she is pretty good, especially for new players. But yeah, let's just start with her stats, okay? And as a free character, I know that it is stupid to compare her with Hikeserp Ultima and Seabreeze Jarvina, but I simply want to show you that even when Immortal Flame Katy Perry able to become 7 stars, her stats is kinda fake, okay? So I think her stats is more belong to 6 stars characters. Like you can see here, she can reach 169 magic stats, which is, yes, I guess it is pretty decent, but compared to real 7 stars characters, like you can see here, High Serp Ultima and Seabreeze Jarvina, most of them get about 200 raw magic stats, okay? And if you take a look on the uh, magic boost, Immortal Flame Katy Perry only gets 110% magic compared to High Serp Ultima who gets 180%, so it is very big difference. But compared to Seabreeze Jarkvina, who is the first gen 7 stars mage, it is not much difference, okay, for the magic boost because Immortal Flame Katy Perry need to equip her Trust Master. I mean, yeah, if Immortal Katy Perry equip her Trust Master, then she gonna has 140% magic, which is quite decent while not top tier. Another stats which is really important is Spirit because she is also function as a healer. But like you can see here, her Spirit is kind of low, only 111, and with 40% Spirit, hmm. Not that good, but it's okay, I guess, for a free character. Her health and MP are quite decent though. 40% health for mage is nice. Same for the MP, but like you can see, her base health only 3,400, while other 7 stars mages have 4,400. Okay, so yeah, like I said, she is more suited to become 6 stars max. So, yeah, basically, Gumi only kind of deceive us, but. Really, her stats is decent, okay, for new players. And she has resist against sleep, silence, and paralyze, which is good. Silence is good because she's a mage, paralyzed, so she only weak against petrified. And another good thing is she double the effect of the healing items. Whoa, that's pretty nice. And as a a character who specializes on helping newbie, then she has rare item and 100% guild obtain. This is really good because as a new player, you want to gather lots of guild and usually you need sun, okay, to double the guild amount, but you need to awaken sun first. But with Immortal Katy Fairy, you can easily double up guild obtain from the battle. So the example of Katy Perry usage is on the Right now, there is a adventure hunt quest or whatever, I forget, only 5 energies. Without double gil, you only get 200 gil per run, but with this, you get 400,000 gil. Okay, so make sure you bring Immortal Flame Katy Perry, whether you are veteran or new players. And she also has 30% chance to counter both physical and magic attack with Nugget. So this Nugget is really good, guys, because it will heal 1500 health and 50 MP to all allies. 50 MP is really huge. And the chance is really high, especially if you equip her Trust Master, okay, because you will double your counter chance. So I believe that will become 60%. Very good, but on higher difficulty, one hit from boss trial, then that can make category die, okay. And that also give her 10% MP regen, but if you don't equip her Trust Master, you won't have any MP regen at all, which is kind of downing. And it also improves LB damage, not that useful, I guess. So I think that's all you need to know about her stats. Now let's take a look on her abilities. So Katy Perry is really insane, guys. Why insane? Take a look on this one. Fortune, Luck of Draw. Remember that you can double cast all of her fortune abilities. So this fortune luck of draw will 
break the enemy stats. You have 55% attack and magic, defense spirit, or 60% all stats break. This is insane guys. I know it is random, but remember like I said, you can double cast this. So I think if you double cast this on the early part of the game, then you have 60% chance to reduce enemy attack and magic by 55 or 60%, okay? Only 40% left for defense spirit break. And this is amazing because for on seven stars characters, okay, let's say, um, yeah, four stars base characters, the highest break you can get is 50% from Meliado. I mean, the abilities, right? Not LB or whatever. So, 50%, this category have 55, so it is better than average, your, your average four stars character. This skill alone already put her really high on my eyes as a newbie player. Okay, next fortune lucky streak. This is also insane. You can double cast this, then that means you can recover 60 MP per turn while healing all allies using. Yeah, this is about the same level as Kuraga. So, this one is insane, guys. I believe if Immortal Flame Catchy Perry was released as a let's say uh, last year unit, maybe. Yeah, last year unit when Seven Stars is still not available, she will be MVP, guys, because of this skill. Okay, so this is kind of like poor man's dedication. Very nice. And next, Fortune, anyone's call. This is also very good because this can make Katy Perry into your buffer. Like Luck of the Draw, this has 60% chance for your defensive buff. Okay, so which make this kind of reliable for her to become a buffer especially on the early part of the game and this skill also chainable with tornado which is insane guys really really you can attack and buff your party at the same time really efficient next fortune out of luck this is chainable with chaos wave this is the skill you should use if you have obtained your the breaks and the buff you want for your party so yeah I think she is the only, let's say, I, I say that she is more like 4 stars base character and I can say that she is the only 4 stars in quote characters that able to chain with Chaos Wave which make her really really good guys. And her cooldown ability, Jackpot. So this Jackpot is quite good because it is chainable with the final nation but the main problem is you cannot double cast this so you can only chain with one hit i mean one defined nation not from dual wielder attacker and because this is not mm, physical attack that means you only do normal chain okay but the reason you want to use this is to unlock her triple black magic. She learns many useful magic, tornado, quake, freeze, and flood. So those are four chaining king on magic, especially tornado. So she learns that all. Even Mediana, I don't think Mediana learned all this for, right? If I'm not mistaken. So really guys, this immortal flame Katy Perry is really, really good. And if you want to make her into finisher, you can do so with Raging Water and Ice. Whoa, pretty decent. And for her LB, her ability also chainable with King's Glaive. Whoa, again insane, but again, because this is LB, you can only use this once. So it is not chainable with Dual Wield King's Glaive. And the damage may be not that, not that interesting, but the interesting part about this LB is 100% all stats buff. You don't need to level up this LB to get that amazing buff okay and because you only need 20 LB crystals to use this whoa it is very easy to use you can spam this and if you don't need this at all then remember Katy Perry also able to entrust her LB gauge to other so she is one of the best entruster okay because only need 20 LB crystals whoa very good Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about her abilities. Now let's talk about equipment. So for equipment, I only list an avoidable equipment. I only list Supercharged Master for her because like I said, she is newbie 
friendly character so for weapon you can use frosted microphone this is free this is her yeah exclusive weapon you can craft this from her event and the good another good thing about her is she able to equip light shield so yeah equip as well as or whatever forehead you can use lucky clover that's also craftable from her event or you can simply equip her with trick head trick head mm, available frequently through the game event okay you can buy it from king mock shopping or some kind of rate rewards just wait until it's available for body you can defeat beast of the dark the normal version to get siren stroke i believe it won't be that hard using her to defeat that ifrit and siren and or if you haven't able to defeat them then use frosted gun which is also craftable from her event for accessories simply search for magic boost and ability simply yeah simply focus on her magic and spirit because those stats are the most important stats for her so enough about equipment my conclusion for catchy perry so like i said catchy perry is really really good character for new players okay she's super versatile she able to become chainer healer mp battery buffer and breaker she also has a wide range of elements which make her really yeah flexible and lots of chaining abilities and i think for veteran players you won't have lots of use for her but i believe it is pretty interesting to max her because you can try to become yeah yeah try to become try to make the game a little bit challenging by bringing her on story event bosses or something like that the only thing i don't like about her is yes her stats and her trust master reward is kind of unusable for others because to get her trust master reward you need to use your real trust moogle okay katy perry is meant for newbie players but you need 100% trust moogle to get the maximum power of her then i think it's kind of contradict i think they should provide us with three stars trust moogle which is only for flame katy perry through the something like bosses or whatever but maybe we will get it next week for super test master reward you can get it for free because you can get uh for immortal katy perry okay but if you able to craft Genburing, then it is kind of unusable because the ability it grants is kind of troll in my opinion it is random so it is not reliable so for newbie players i give her 10 out of 10 okay she is definitely newbie best friend let's say if you just play this game about one month or even just start the game make sure you get her and yeah, train her she will become really 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 strong i believe she can easily clear the trial with correct chaining partner easily okay but for veteran i can still give him maybe i i mean her about yes yeah, seven out of ten so yep i think that's all you need to know about immortal flame katy perry really good free units thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy perfect vs god bye bye guys